The video today is in response to a question coming from Innocent Cheure and his question goes like I just want to know the purpose of drums in a song is it something chinongorizwa pese pese or chinengwa chinorizwa that's a very interesting question to make the topic interesting I think I will need to go back in history and um, look at the history of the drum set from the time it started up to now and uh, how its roles uh, developed from the early days up to its roles in the present day so here we go <laughs> the drum set as we know it today was born in USA as you know, the United States of America is a country which is a melting pot of so many different cultures from around the world. One group of people that contributed a lot to, to American culture, that contributed a lot to a lot of uh, music around the world, is the African Americans. And they are at the core of the topic of today. As you know, even my genre is like rock, jazz, blues, funk. Whatever it is, this is what we Because they were coming from different parts of Africa. So, as you know, Africans are generally very rhythmic and very musical. So, that contributed a lot to how the music is played worldwide today. So, around the world, every culture had its own way of playing drums. Every culture had its own type of drums. Here in Zimbabwe, had Mutumba. In West Africa, they've got uh, the djembe, they've got the talking drum. In the Western countries, there are different types of drums as well as what they called the field drum, which was played by the army during times of war, as well as the bass drum, which they played uh, with hands. 1865 is the year that the American Civil War ended and uh, black people participated a lot in the civil war so when the war ended there were a lot of drums lying around and uh, so africans began to experiment um, with those drums one thing that uh, contributed to the formation of the drum set is the need to cut numbers because those days what used to happen is um, the drums were played separately the bass drum was played by somebody else the field drum, which was later turned into a snare drum, was played by somebody else, especially when you are playing in an orchestra. Then the cymbals are said to have come from Turkey. They used to use a lot of cymbals. Even the company Zildjian, that company that is known for creating a, a very good uh, high heads and cymbals, originally is from Turkey. So the roles were spread around, just like what we do here in Africa with the you have about five drummers playing different parts and uh, some playing shakers and so forth. So there was a need to cut down on numbers when traveling. So people started thinking of ways all those drums could be played by one person. The first style that emanated from that need was a style called double drumming. So what they used to do during double drumming is a uh, the drum will be using two sticks, one for the snare drum and the other one for the kick. I think for the kick they used to use uh, heaters. Uh, that was the first step in the creation of a drum set as we know it today. So as time went on, the hi-hats were included in the double drumming. There was a stand for the hi-hats. It was not exactly the same hi-hats that we know today, but um, it was a prototype of what later on became the heights. And then later on, they felt the need to include tomes. And when it comes to tomes, there are the, the, the number of different uh, accounts which are mentioned by different uh, sources. Some say tomes were brought to the USA by the Chinese people. And Africans also had uh, drums that uh, resembled the tombs here in Africa. So they took interest in the tombs as well. That's why they were incorporated on the drum set. So generally, the drum set on its own is a hybrid of instruments from around the world. 
from the tombs from China, from the bass drum and um, field drum from the Western world to the symbols from Turkey and other elements from here in Africa. There was a drummer by the name Edward D. D. Chandler. He said to be the first drummer uh, to play using a pedal on the on the bass drum. But it was a prototype to the pedal that we have today for the kick. So in 1909, two brothers from the Ludwig family, I don't know whether it's Ludwig or Ludwig, I don't know how to pronounce it, they are the first to create a commercial and a professionally made um, kick drum pedal and they patented it uh, in 1909. So after that, uh, things started taking shape. By 1910, the drum set was complete as we know it today. In the 1970s in Zimbabwe, that's when we started experimenting with our own Zimbabwean music, uh, Mbira based music. So when we started using drums, the interesting part is the highest. If you ever listen to people play Ajirizango Mamtumba, you notice that the pan pan ta kaku tsindira tsindira peta kaku fara fara kaku tsindira kutsuna ma 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 accents are pass pass ma accents are come so you just talk like listen to the this small clip marizire ngo mai wa yo that's what we applied to the heights one because i know that the heights are mainly represent the osho but if you listen closely the heights in Zimbabwe, especially for Mbira music, they don't go too shitty, too shitty, too shitty, like the same way the, the, the Warsaw plays. So what do you, you can put Warsaw and play the heights, you can tell that those are totally two different uh, rhythms. But uh, the purpose is the same, you go maintain uh, the, 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 the higher frequencies of the, of the drum set. But pani kamu kamu rizuru so kamu kani tuko pangoma, duka kaisi ko pachi pama heights. Drum fields are not just there for show off. Of course, you are allowed to show off, but you only do it the way it's necessary. Drum fields are there to signal certain points or certain moments in a song. They are there to punctuate the song. For example, uh, in Zimbabwean music, usually what starts is the lead guitar or the rhythm guitar, and then to signal the coming in of the rest of the instruments, you need a drum fill. I know it in Zimbabwe, we call it a drum roll. You need a drum field to bring in all the instruments. And before the singer comes in, he also needs a drum field to, to signal that it's, time, it's now time to sing. And uh, that's why you notice sometimes when the drummer is not paying attention, you see the vocalist, uh, I need a drum roll on, because I need to start singing. And then for the vocalist to to, 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 to take a break from singing as well, they need another drum fill. And uh, for the guitar solo, sax solo, whatever solo, it also needs a drum fill. So the purpose of the drum fills is not just to be played any way you want. And um, I think it's very important for drummers to play in um, mature bands and established bands. Because, um, that way you really know the purpose of drum rolls. Because I can give an example of such acts like Thomas Mapfumo, Tango Yoko Sando, Oliver Mtukuzi, Andy Brown, one of four brothers, whatever. Those guys had clearly defined music and you really had to put the drum uh, feel parnufano pinda chapi chapi. Pese 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 what's the meaning of your drum feel? What is it signaling? You look at the sign So it means that what is the piece of power that would be Most drummers in church, I don't know why there isn't much regulation for drummers in church. Because usually, if I don't go pin the piece of piece, I don't go roll a piece of piece of power. Because as a drummer, you need to know where to put a short drum fill and where to put a long drum fill. So if you listen to music like from the likes of Thomas Mofumo, those established ma 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 artists, ma kure. There are moments where they just want one snare hit with pa, auto pinned. And they pop up with some good 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 good. Monoto burana, so good 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 good. Monoto 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 tukana. 
I was part of a band ndime pano pana drama chitukwa zvekutukwa zvezve and I took in episodes of Zambo tukwa mukuru mbozorera odzoka futo tuka futo mbozorera odzoka futo tuka futi after I sama Rosa Gareba vitsa zvinyau to sing kuti kuti break che broko che berengende ipo parongodiwa ngoti ngoti pa so on this part I'm addressing the question at all right kunzi madrum fuse anongo iswa pese pese no they are not supposed to kungiswa pese pese they are played for a specific reason one you don't just put a rope i know that these days kwane my chops at nona on youtube where dramas will be showing off that's good if you are given a drum solo but if you are not given a drum solo you are supposed to play the song you are not supposed to play the drums there's a difference between playing your instrument and playing the song if you are playing the song you play according to what's needed with the song we go not in the song the song up iruda just a short drum fill up iruda is da 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 rero one so it's to your discretion but your discretion is to go with the with the type of music that you are playing one but one thing i've noticed wrong is um, most dramas are very musically checked up and uh, when i'm in the studio every time i notice that uh, dramas are the ones who are very much concerned about the arrangements about everything they are not usually very playful in the studio they are always paying attention a lot one and i've noticed that dramas have got a very good memory so i hope i, I answered your question there yeah so na kwesa ni green metronome ne ne mashaka zvichete zviri bwani Quality and professionalism.